Guys, a lot of people are curious to know what is one of my favorite tarantulas in my collection. It is this one here. This is my Pocotheria bara, which is the ivory lowland ornamental. This is a six and a half inch adult female named Charmaine. Now, show show you why it's one of my favorite pokies. Just look at the colors. Got gold highlights all over the legs. Very subdued black color. I really like this pokey. One of my favorites. And this is my P. Fasciata Sri Lankan ornamental. This one is Lucky. My lucky female. Seven tries before I actually got a female. Just my luck. Mm, just my luck. She's not hungry. Hmm. Oh well. Salem, my Pocotheria Formosa Salem Ornamental. This is a seven inch adult female. Whoopsie daisy. Let's see if she'll like tongue feeding. Sorry, sweetie. Come on. I missed. Okay, take two. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Play a little game of cat and mouse. This one here is Sebastian, my male Pocotheria Hanuma Vila Samika Ramashwarm ornamental. And I have his girlfriend Tatiana recently molted. Snap. Damn, <laughs> that is a fast pokey. Sweet. Okay. Hmm, this will be interesting. So I got her down. Let's see if she'll eat a super worm. Boop. And that's our molt. looks yeah. yeah I think this looks definitely a female uh, she might not eat but that's the Hanuma Vila Samika's colors quite vibrant I'll see maybe if she'll prefer a cricket Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> she likes crickets now. That's okay. They love them. Alright. There's Mia. My lovely P. Metallica. Goody Sapphire Ornamental. Sorry guys if you can't see this. Snapped. Alright, so there's a shot of her. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, definitely my bluest tarantula in my collection. Yeah, very, very nice pokey. Very gorgeous. This is another beautiful pokey. It's also my most docile one next to my Bara is my Pocotheria Miranda Bengal Spotted Ornamental. So it's gonna be very hard to film this with one hand. Sorry for the videography, but here we go. Good girl. And I have the most unique name for the species, Miranda. <laughs> Very nice bogeys, almost the same size as the P. Formosa. P. Ornata, fringed ornamental. Oh, I think I just missed the attack. Uh, where's the spider? Oh yeah, there we go. Got the super, I, I mean cricket. You're coming soon, don't worry. Okay, this one here is my Pocotheria regalis, the Indian ornamental. This is my 8 inch female named Zelda. Okay, she's gonna catch it midair, hopefully. Ah, oh, shoot. She missed. Okay, ready? She's a huge pokey. Uh oh. She got that one. <laughs> yeah, but you saw her out in the open. She's huge. All right, this one's Pandora. My other Regalis. All righty. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha ha. That's my Regalis, Indian ornamental. Good seven and a half inches, a lot younger than Zelda. And you can tell it's a regalis if you look closely at the abdomen, it has a clear band underneath. And that's the only way to tell if your pokey is a regalis or not. The cheapest one and the most readily available. This was my very first pokey I started off with and then I started working my way up all the way up to the P. Metallica and the P. Hanuma Vilasamika. Very fast and very potent. Also can be very nasty if they're disturbed in any way. But she's good. All right, this one may not eat on camera. Uh, this is my, believed to be an immature male, Pocotheria rufolata. The red slate ornamental. Let's try my P. Rufolata spiraling that I got from TC. Oh, nice. Ha 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 ha. Gotta love your pokies. Alright, this one here is my Pocotheria smithy, the yellow backed ornamental. Nice. Unsexed specimen from the dorsal shot. It looks to be. A female but I'm only about like 70-75% sure I need a ventral shot to confirm all right this one is Allison my female smithy oh wow she's beautiful she is beautiful 
Mm, not sure if she got it. Next one up is a female Peace Triata Mysore Ornamental. Oh, nice. There we go. That's the pokey I wanted to see attack. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so at first glance, you would think this is a completely different tarantula. No. This is a mature male Peace Triata, the Mysore Ornamental. Uh, this is Don's, not mine. But I'll feed him anyway. There we go. Look at see the colors between the female and the mature male. Okay, this is a really good shot. Pokey patterns on the abdomen are barely visible. So is the uh, carapace patterns, and they're completely brown. So that is a sure tail sign that your pokey is indeed a mature male. Yeah, he's pretty big for a male. And I do want to breed, probably I'll start uh, very soon, to fatten up my female and try to pair them up, see if uh, I get any responses. Next one up is a Pocotheria Tigrina Wesseli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. This is a one and a half inch spiderling that doesn't really eat a whole lot. Sometimes it eats, sometimes it doesn't. And looks like that's one of those days. Okay. Next. All right, this is a Pocotheria vitata, formerly known as P. Pedersenii, ghost ornamental. <laughs> I kind of cheated on this one a little bit. I did feed her uh, the day prior uh, because she was starting to look a little bit thin. So I started to power feed her a little bit more so I can get um, her admin plumped up. But there you go. Alright guys, this one here is a Pocotheria Vitata Cross Ornata. The Ghost Fringe Ornamental. It's a very fast pokey. Crunch. Uh, let me try to Hooks her out a bit so you can see her colors. And there we go, she's beautiful. She's around four inches. All right, that's all the pokies I have. I don't have the Safuska Highland, but probably in the near future. All right, now moving on to the Stumblepoe species. I only have two of them. This one here is a mature female, Samopos Armenia, Venezuelan Sun Tiger, that I got from the Expo at uh, Tales and Scales. Uh, there we go. That's a really healthy P. Arminia. One of my favorites. You're not going to see much of this one. This is my mature female Samopos Reduncus, which is known as the Costa Rican Orange Mouth. Hiding. All right. Cool. All right. This one here is a Ternillo Palma 
Sazimai, also known as the Sazimai's tarantula or the Brazilian blue beauty. Really nice tarantula that gets up to having a four, four and a half inch leg span. Uh, it's a burrowing species with a very simple care sheet. Very similar to Lassiodorus. Keep them a little bit moist and warm and you'll be fine. All right, this is the new one that I got from the raffle from Tarantula Canada. And looks like that one might not be interested in eating. Okay, so these are my other two Terneopelma sazimes. Uh, these guys I had for about a year. Uh, this one here is about a half an inch. And again, a little small cricket to feed them. This is the larger one, three quarters of an inch. Not terribly the greatest eaters in my collection. That's why um, you don't often see them in my feeding videos. But hopefully once they mature out, I'll probably see a good response for them. Okay. Next. Okay, this one here is the Trinotilus marinus red color form, which is the OBT. This is Georgia, a six inch female. Don't see an attack. Oh. Oh, maybe. Get a little threat pose. She might be in pre molt. I haven't seen a molt from her in a while. That's her amount of webbing that she did. Unfortunately, don't think she's going to eat. All right, now moving on to my centipede. See how that one's doing. And here is a Scolopendra subspinips, possibly Dahani, which is the giant Vietnamese centipede. It's about six inches. And there we go. Very nice size specimen. <laughs> I'll name this one again Asphaxia from uh, Sign Hill Homecoming. Despite being called a centipede, doesn't even have a hundred legs. It has about like twenty pairs, twenty-two maybe. So right now, as you could probably see chewing up the superworm while injecting a little bit of venom to uh, paralyze it. And the fangs are located right over there. The very first leg segments next to the antennae. Yep, very creepy. I used to be afraid of centipedes and then never liked them until I owned my very first one, which was a alternans. And now I like them. They're really an interesting creature. This one here is a Cerecopalma rubronitans. This is known as the giant Panama red rump. This is Roberta. Pushing around seven inches, fully adult. Despite being her so big, she's incredibly fast moving for a large bulky tea. Kind of resembles the bee wagons except you don't have the tan outline around the carapace. Nice red hair for sure. This is by no means a play spider and this is 
not recommended for any beginners. This is the most dangerous spider that I have in my collection. This is a Sicarius terosus, the six-eyed sand spider. Ooh, nice. This guy has cytotoxic venom. Very similar to the brown recluse, only many times worse. I think I mentioned this in Mythbuster video 50, the Sicarius species. Though it's not an aggressive spider, the venom is absolutely toxic. It's a cytotoxin. Basically what that does is when the spider bites you, your red blood cells start popping up like balloons. Bop, 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 bop. And eventually, um, if untreated, it will go down to your kidneys, shut them down, and results in death. Only two people got bitten by the spider. One of them died, the other person had to have his arm amputated so that way that the venom will not spread. Currently, Tarantula Canada has these on sale for about a third of an inch for $55. And this guy is strictly on 100% sand, not the 80% sand, 20% eco earth mixture when uh, this little spider was young. It's about an inch and super easy to take care of. I just literally ha don't have to do much with it. Don't even have water, making sure it gets food, and that's pretty much it. Pretty cool. Starts to blend in with the black sand. This one here is a female Sparbophria hoffmani, which is the South American horned bird eater. Now this is the one that I featured in tarantula feeding video 125 part 3 and as you can see on the carapace you can make out the horn that typically only Ceratogyrus species have but this one is relatively rare in the hobby certainly not as potent as the Ceratogyrus and pretty calm I love that horn, really nice. Uh, looks like she's not interested. This one here is a female Tapnikinius gigas, the orange tree spider. <laughs> This is Barb, a female. These guys get up to having a five and a half inch leg span. The Tap Gigas is the largest of the Tappies. Very fast, very, very fast indeed. And a little bit on the defensive side. But really an easy tee to keep. These guys are tanks. This is my Tapnikinia Sancti Vincenti, St. Vincent's tree spider. Pwned, an adult cricket. <laughs> Here we go. That's probably about, I would say, an inch and a half. Unknown sex. A very very good eater and it's probably one of the more hardy of the Tapanikinius next to the Gigas. The big monster. This one here is a Theraphosa apophysis, the pink foot goliath bird eater. <laughs> awesome. Alright, this is what an apophysis sling looks like. As you can see how it got its name because of the pink feet. This is only present in slings as the specimen will start to get older it will lose that. 
and to tell if you have a stermy sling versus an apophysis you just have to look at the pink feet if it's all around their body then it's a true apophysis if it's only the first two pairs of legs then that is definitely a T stermy they will get very big around 10 maybe even 12 inches depending on the specimen little baby this is my behemoth of a T <laughs> not very large but certainly a juvenile and has a lot of growing to do. This is my Theraphosa Sturmi. This is the burgundy goliath bird eater. As you can tell it's a burgundy form because the patella hairs are missing. If you have a one with patella hairs then that's the true blondie. Yeah, this is Gretel's successor. And there we go. Yeah, she's not very big compared to Gretel, but she's young. She's in a five gallon tank for now until she gets bigger. And I'll grade her to a 10 gallon tank. You don't really need that big of a space to for them to do well. Yeah, just look at those pink hairs on the abdomen. That's T Sturmy's all about. <laughs> Love her. And I keep the substrate very moist. You don't want to keep them very dry uh, because they can dehydrate very easy since these come from the rainforest of French Guiana. This is Victoria. She is my Thrixopalma ocherty, the giant Peru flame rump. You can see a very, very beautiful ocherty. Fast, <laughs> around five inches, and loves to shake hair. Really awesome green and red. Kind of reminds me of the holly jolly Christmas day. <laughs> cool. This one you're not going to see. I have never seen this spider. This is my unidentified trapdoor uh, from Malaysia. I got. Well, there we go. <laughs> well, woohoo! First trapdoor I've seen since feeding video 116. Nice. That one came from Malaysia. It's supposed to be like three inches, and this is the very first feeding that I saw from this one. Now I know where the trap is, and hopefully we'll see that one a lot more. I'm happy. Here is Veronica. She is my Vitellius paraniniensis, the Argentinian brown bird eater. It's basically the info. Paid about $65 for this one. Uh, comes from Brazil, Argentina. Climate's tropical. Maximum size, it's probably around four and a half, five inches. Starting to show really nice colors. Okay, now for the Zenithus. This guy right here is my Zenithus Imanus. Colombian lesser black male named Genesis. Here we go. This guy is an immature male. He may look in pre molt a little bit, as you can see his abdomen spot. A little bit of blue but not quite yet because he's still eating. Alright this one here is Chitose. She is my Zenithus species Columbia Blue. So it might actually change the name to Rika because Chitose fail frame two characters crimson kimono. 
where Rika is the blue pre a tattoo priestess. There we go, just like uh, Genesis, Chitose has a little ball spot, <laughs> loves to kick hairs, and very, very leggy. Alright, so this is my leopard gecko. It's a high tailed morph. Mmm, super worms. Alright, let's try another one. She's pretty hungry. Oh, there we go. Oh, she missed. Got it. Gotta love her snake eyes. Yeah, this girl, I feed her about once a week. A couple of super worms. There we go, last one. She's pretty chunky. So this is basically her setup, a 10 gallon tank with Reptocarpet, because I don't want impaction. This is where the gecko will eat part of the substrate, it's not healthy for it. It's got a little cave, another cave. Um, this is a wet hide, so that way uh, it could shed the skin easier water dish, some fake leaves for decoration, and this here a little ashtray filled with cocaine. <laughs> no, it's not cocaine. Basically, it's just uh, repti calcium. This is for uh, calcium to prevent um, diseases like metabolic bone disorder. Awesome. Now for a clip of my hamster, my guinea pigs, and my dog. Hey Maggie, what's up girl? Tired? <laughs> My 11 year old Shih Tzu. She doesn't do many tricks anymore now that she's 11 years old. 77 in human years. Hey, come here, come down, come. Sit, good girl. Paw, hey paw. Can you pop? 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 Can you pop? Good girl. Other paw? High five. Wait, hang on, hang on. Sit. Seek. High five. Good girl. Very, very cute dog. Yeah, it's getting festive here. Christmas tree's already up. Now for a clip of the hamster and the guinea pigs. Hey, so, a little clip of my hamster, Naya. A Russian dwarf hamster, she's a little bit over two years old. She seems to be sleeping. Oh, she's getting up. Hello. Hello, cutie. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit groggy, but. <laughs> She looks really old. Nice treat for her. <laughs> awesome. Now for Haley and Leah, my two guinea pigs. Alright, so here's Leah. Here we go. Got strong choppers. Yeah. 
Here you go. Take it. Haley. Haley. Where is she? Yeah, there we go. Come here. Come out of hiding. Come. Come here, Haley. One. Come. Come on, don't be camera shy. Good girl. There you are. Doesn't want to be disturbed. So anyways, guys. That's my feeding video of the entire collection. So I kind of wanted to give a arachnotour slash feeding video so you guys know exactly what I have and what I don't. And I'm just uh, getting those four new additions probably either tomorrow or this week. So everyone, hope you enjoy guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more vids.